Hi, this is John Kanellopoulos from Athens, Greece, New York City, New York. I'm going to try with hands-on on this page to explain to you our latest topo-guided uh, treatments on virgin eyes. This is a young myopic patient, nothing uh, uh, important on the pentacam, good thickness. This is a refraction, minus 4, very little astigmatism, uh, minus 025 as you can see here, also on wavefront. And this is the topography that you can see that reveals some angle kappa. OCT to get a good view of the epithelial maps, uh, prosion, pupillometry, and then confirming the topographic astigmatism with the lens star. Both eyes measure here. I'll try today and explain to you our uh, protocol in treating uh, myos with the topography guided platform uh, by Wavelight Alcon. It's called Contura these days with a new launch. And we have a typical myo here, uh, a 38-year-old uh, male, and these are the refractions. We try first an auto refraction, a, uh, what the patient is wearing. The patient is wearing minus 375 and minus 4. Uh, the manifest refraction, the dry refraction, minus 4.5, minus 4.5. Please note, nowhere here is the patient choosing astigmatism. The cyclopegic refraction with one drop of uh, uh, tropicomide, minus 425, minus 425 astigmatism. Minus four and a half, both of the is on the left as well. The uh, order fraction post the dilation and partial second page which is the same. And the wavefront measurements, which do show, uh, confirm the previous refractions. Minus 432, minus 028, and 174. And minus 440, minus 043 at 12. Of course, routinely, we look at the pentacam maps, which show uh, uh, almost 0.8 doctors of astigmatism with the rule, and this is a normal cornea, good thickness, minimal thickness 550, uh, and the placido disc topography, which by the way, looking at the rings and the pupil, uh, we can see that although this patient is a mild, has slight angle kappa, uh, and a significant regularly irregular astigmatism. This is not an extremely regular astigmatism, although we cannot claim this is irregular. So, we draw these data into the laser with a wave net and we place our initial refraction, which is our clinical refraction, minus 425, minus 425, out of 140 degrees. But the pearl here is that the topographer, of course, the topographer cannot sense the spherical filament very well, measures and suggests we treat one diopter of astigmatism at 12 degrees. So this creates a little bit of a leap of faith to go with the topography. So we will go on a case like this and look at the numbers with refraction set to zero. So I will manually go to zero here. And of course, we've asked the way by the people to possibly give us this image here as a standard default image on any topography guided treatment we will do. Because it helps us very much. It gives us this attempt by the topolizer to normalize the irregularly regular statements that we're seeing here and adjust for angle capital. And of course, this treatment looks like a hyperopic treatment, so it will induce a little bit of myopia. So we will do a little bit of what neutralization here. I'll add a 0.25 diopter myopia and see that now this ablation is more uniform and thus ascertain that the topography guided normalization will create. 0.25 doctors for myopia. So we'll hold that in mind. So now we will uh, jump uh, to correct the astigmatism that the topographer suggests. So I'll add to the 0.25 we had as a refraction arbitrarily half a doctor more astigmatism. So I'll go to minus 0.75 of astigmatism and I will respect the topographer's. Uh, axis. So I will jump from 140 and go to 12 degrees. And this is a huge leap of faith. And I understand many clinicians will have a difficult time doing this, but I, uh, our clinical results uh, promise that this will give actually better vision to the patient. So now we've added half a doctor and stigmatism from our refraction. So we'll plan on subtracting 0.25 of myopia from the total sphere. The total sphere was 425 plus 0.25 for uh, the uh, the uh, topography neutralization. That's 
minus four and a half. And we're going to subtract 0.25 because we increased the astigmatism. So we're going to end up again with 425, but you can understand that this is a heavily adjusted uh, power. Uh, and overall, it seems that we're correcting the square root equivalent of larger than the actual patient refracted, but it also uh, includes the uh, topography adjustment for the topography normalization. So this is the final treatment. Please note here that in reference to the pupil, the ablation is slightly decentered because this addresses the ankle kappa for that patient. Uh, and uh, we will treat this topography uh, guided and also topography uh, determined amount of cylinder and uh, axis. And why does this happen? Uh, our thinking and our uh, suggestion is that these younger patients have a uh, accommodative element in their over refraction, which the wavefront cannot pick up, uh, that uh, balances out some of the refractive uh, cornea stimulation that the patient has. And we know by experience that if we treat uh, just the uh, refraction that the patient selected, sooner or later this patient will quote unquote, have some regression and some astigmatism, which is nothing else than the astigmatism that we would not treat if we were not doing this type of guide. Our results have jumped from the 2020, uh, 2015 level, uh, uncorrected to the, almost in every case 2010, uh, very impressive visual acuities, far superior to anything else that we've seen uh, clinically through the last 20 years that we've performed LASIK. And I, uh, I encourage you to uh, at least, if not try this clinically, to follow this thought process through and, uh, and uh, familiarize yourself with what we use uh, today in our clinical practice. And I thank you very much for your attention. So in uh, reviewing, you can see here the uh, uh, treatment if we were going to use our clinical refraction confirmed by Wavefront. You see the topography guided device will adjust for angle kappa but its suggested treatment suggests more astigmatism. This is with zero refraction. You can see the normalization, the adjustment of uh, asphericity performing the device, and we decided that this is worth 0.25 of extra myopia to be corrected. And although these other numbers of clinical refraction before and after dilation, wavefront, and order refraction before and after dilation, this is our final uh, treatment to be performed, uh, which uh, includes more astigmatism according to the topographic data, angle kappa, and thus the adjustment of our correction. This is John Kenlapo signing out. Thank